everyone. In this video, we're going to work on three different types of turns, or at least go over a description of three different types of turns. The pivot turn, the chenet turn, and the three-step turn, the very basic three-step turn. So I'm going to demonstrate right to left as well as forward and back or away from the camera and toward the camera. I'm going to start out with the pivot turn. So one of the things that we like doing when we drill our pivot turns is we like giving you an example that you, is tangible and you can actually feel. So I'm going to show you with a piece of paper between my legs. When I do a pivot turn, what we want to avoid is the legs opening to use the weight of the leg to turn or the legs passing like a scissor. What we want to be able to do is push off the floor with the standing leg and the energy going down into the floor, which means we want to keep the leg that's off the floor out of the equation as far as throwing it for momentum. So you'll see my right foot in front of the left when I do this outside turn to my right. And I am very evidently keeping my legs together, my thighs together, because when I take that pivot turn, the piece of paper does not fall to the floor. If I were to throw the leg behind, or perhaps sometimes this falls, sometimes it doesn't, when I scissor, you'll probably lose your paper. So if you think of having something physical between your thighs that you have to hold on to, it's much easier to complete the, the half of rotation without using that free leg to increase momentum or rotation. So showing that from this direction, what I want to do is when I begin to practice this, I'll actually give you a drill. I start with my feet slightly apart and knees bent, and I practice hinging or bending my knees and thrusting my heels forward so that I can make sure that I'm pivoting on the ball of my feet. When I ultimately dance this, my heel is going to be so close to the floor that you might not be able to see that there's no weight on it, but I'm still pivoting on the ball of my foot, so it's released enough. So with my right foot in front and my left foot having my, having my weight, I plie or soften into that uh, standing knee, and then I send my energy down to the floor and push into the floor while keeping my thighs together. Then I transfer my weight. Now I'm on the front foot and weighted on my right leg, so I soften that knee and I push into the floor and do my half turn before I change weight. So that's the simple basic example. I'll now show you the left outside turn, and that would be my left foot in front, weighted on my right. I half turn left, take a step, and then I half turn left to continue the circle. So I'll show that from this direction. My left foot's in front, I turn left for half a turn, take a step, I continue to turn left for the remainder of the full circle. Those are the right outside pivots and the left outside turn pivots. You can also do a right inside turn and a left inside turn. I'm not so worried about those right now, but I will show you from this direction. So we would have our right foot forward, but instead of turning the same direction of that foot, we're going to turn to the left. So the right foot's forward, but we turn to the left and take a step. And now we're over the right foot, our left is free behind us. We continue the turn to the left and then take our step. So I'll quickly demonstrate a left inside pivot turn. My left foot is forward, but I'm turning right. I'm going toward the standing leg. I soften into my right foot. I push for the half a turn. I take the step, soften into the front knee, half a turn, complete the turns. So if you see me doing, let's say, the outside turns up to speed, right, left, right, left, or the left outside turns up to speed, left, right, left, that was always away from my standing foot. I'll demonstrate it going this direction. Right, left, right, left. Left outside, left, right, left, right. The inside turns that aren't used as frequently will be right foot forward, turning left, right, left, right, left. And then switching left inside turn, left, right, left. So that's the full extent of your four pivot turn styles. Chenet turns actually keep the thighs apart. So we're taking half turn, half turn on a slightly different axis. So if you see me doing this away from the camera, right to left, and I'm turning right and doing a right side turn, I'll be stepping with my right foot, half turn, left foot, half turn, right foot, half turn, left foot, half turn. I'll do that facing away from the camera to the left, Left half turn, right half turn, left half turn, right half turn. If you're doing something like ballet, we'll be pressing into the floor and full releve with stretched knees. If you're doing something 
something more like um, street dance of sometimes salsa, west coast swing, modern jive, four count hustle, you're gonna be softening into those knees, only lifting the heels ever so slightly from the floor enough for you to pivot on the balls of your feet. So I'll do this right side and left side, this direction so you get another view of it. Right half turn. Or left half turn. And those are Sinead's. One of the things I'm not going over much in this video, but will in an alternative video, is stacking in your alignment for turns as well as spotting. So again, this video is just to break down these three types of turns. So the very simple three-step turn. What I tend to do is my foundation is in the technical ballet style, and so that's where I move from. Depending on what dance you're in, there are some slight different variations in three-step turns, but I want to tell you that this is a classical foundation or interpretation of a three-step turn. So I'll do this both facing and away. My three-step turn being three weight changes, we step to the right, bring the feet together as you step to the left, that's your half turn, and I'm, I'm lifting my heels so you can really see me change weights. And then to complete that turn, the full 360, we do our second half turn onto the right foot. So I'll do that again. Step left, bring your feet together right, and then left. So I'll face away from the camera and do that again. Transfer to the right, half turn, transfer weight to the left, half turn, transfer weight to the right, and going back the other direction. Weight transfer to the left, weight transfer to the right as the feet come together, weight transfer to the left. So I'll do it perpendicular so you can see this in a different angle. So we do a weight transfer right, weight transfer left as the feet come close together, and weight transfer to the right, or the other direction. Weight transfer left as feet come close, weight, tra weight transfer right, and then open again, weight transfer left. Now for those of you that do um, a lot of line dancing, you might find that by phrasing things per measure, one, two, three, four, and you have a three step turn, a lot of times we end up tapping mark through that fourth um, beat of the measure. Right now I am only working on the turn segment, that being the three weight changes one, two, three, leaving you weighted on one foot, but not collected with our second foot. So that would be an additional move if we added that. So there you go. There are your pivot turns outside and inside of both legs. Those are your chenet turns, half turn, half turn with the thighs not touching off right and left. And that's your three step turn off of the right side and left side. Have fun picking those apart and really drilling yourself in them so you can use them where they go best in your dance.